Oh, that's sorry about that. You gotta work. No. It, it, work is all tied into all this. So. Yeah. Okay. Popular guy and stuff. Oh no no no. No, um, I was just asking a bit about you know the you know did you put that meanness or anything into the wrestling or you know how that. You know no, it's very competitive. I, I like to be competitive. I, I like to see. It's not really dominating people. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not it's not dominating people. It's just being competitive. And if you can pin the fastest you can pin a guy. I like that, you know, instead of, you don't want to fool around because some things are going to happen where you're going to get yourself in trouble. If you can go out there and dominate a person, what I like to do is get some of these big heavyweights and pick them off the ground, then you get them up, and they don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and I don't know if anybody really likes it or not. Then you pick them off the ground, and then you can do some, you know, you can do some of the the arm bars and legs and then set them back down. and. It, it it wasn't mean. It was just it was just the feeling that that uh, that you could do that. So why not? You know. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. So. Did uh, that experience, you know, wrestling and stuff, help you with the football, or yes. would you say the football helped you with wrestling? Yes, or? I think wrestling helped me with more of everything because of the balance and the conditioning and the understanding that you know you had to go that you had to go the distance. Football is so short, you know, and you get a break. So short, and you get a break. But with wrestling, you had to, you had to be there. You had to get that involved in it, and you had to, you know, be. But I really like to do it quick if I could, because then I could get off the mat. You know? <laughs> yeah, and you did that quite a few times. Well, <laughs> I, I, I was lucky. I was lucky. I, I was. I was lucky, but I worked hard. I worked hard for it too. But the thing about it is, I think it's exciting for wrestling to do that too. Mm -hmm. If you can do that, you know, exciting for wrestling, exciting for the fans, exciting for for different uh, aspects of it because we, we need to promote this sport with uh, maybe even shorter time periods or whatever because we don't need the, uh, I wouldn't call it stalling, but feeling each other out. I just like to see people go out there and just attack. Yeah. You know, attack, attack, and, and then. Win, lose, or draw, it, it's good for the sport. It's yeah. really good for the sport you know, to do. So. In the direction that the program's going in, do you see a little bit more of that attack? Yes, yes I do. The aggressiveness from last year has been, uh, I, I say, another twofold. And I'd like to see it another three or fourfold yeah. as, far as, as far as development. They're bringing in young people that want to attack, that's got an attitude that. Uh, of understanding because old Dale Thomas on the wrestling match, I don't know if you remember him, but he says you got you've got to attack, you've got I mean, don't put yourself in jeopardy all the time. But if you if you're not attacking the person and if you're not pushing him, then you're you're wasting you're wasting wrestling time and wrestling fan time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you really are. You really are as far as as far as attacking and developing and then and, and strategy so it's very important yeah yeah very important yeah i just wanted to ask you know that you were on the giant killer team yeah were you on that yeah. team yeah. yeah so was it nice to see us uh pick up a, a couple oh. in the last couple of years oh boy to beat southern cow and then knock them in their place a little bit because some of those souls get a little cocky you know yeah and anytime a small community like this in a small college and develop something like that, the energy to to attack those people like that is so much fun. Yeah. Because they really do give us a hard time a lot of times. They really do. And, and, and they're great players. They got four or five star players, whatever that means. But the way Mike is doing it and developing these people, their work ethics to develop them not only in the football field but for, for, for what they want to do afterwards. They're so neat to be around. I love it. Same with the wrestling program. That's what they're doing right now. They're developing these folks not only just to to be good wrestlers and and, and to win, but to develop and, and understand that uh, the life is going to be uh, good for them as long as they be positive and understand what they need to do. Yeah, putting that extra hard work yes. and stuff into yes. into life yes. and yes. and the hard work makes you lucky makes you lucky every time every time you can work hard people say well you got the right right position right place but you got to put yourself in that position too
Yeah. So we're just like through the hard work and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I heard a story. I just wanted to ask you about a story. Did you chase down O.J. Simpson? <laughs> you want to know the truth? Let's hear it. Let's here, here's, here's the truth. I'll put it right it's on tape. I don't know if you remember Ron Yeri. He was a uh, all pro offensive line. Well, he played then. He was playing for the uh, Southern Cal Trojans. He blew me off the line so far that I happened to get the angle and go around and I got in front of OJ and I tripped him up and I got credit for it. So. <laughs> but you got him, but I you got, got him. Yeah, no, we, we got it, we got we got him. The whole the whole team helped out and doing some stuff. We, we got him and uh, yeah, the juice, the juice got uh, 180 some yards that day, which was really not containing him a lot. Yeah. But we beat him three nothing in the old mud bowl. And it, it was so much fun to do. Yeah. And we were lucky enough, I was lucky enough to get a couple of tackles, my, my fellow teammates, but I had a hell of a time that day with Ron Yeri. And he was like uh, 6'7", 270, offensive lineman. He went on and played with the Minnesota Vikings for years and years. But it, it, it was fun to be in that because we had a, we had a bunch of guys Oh, old DeAndre said, "Bend but don't break." You know that kind of a mentality. So we really, uh, we really worked on that. We really worked on a lot. It's a lot of fun, and that's what these guys are doing now. These guys here, there's not some, there's not. Well, you got the, the, the Rogers boys and the, the Canfields, but there's not a lot of so-called superstars. But they're all playing together and they're believing what they can do. Mm -hmm. and we've got to beat those ducks somehow. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Yeah, for all the roses, right? All the roses. Wouldn't that be sweet? I'd be there. Oh, I gotta go down to it. I gotta <laughs> go down to it. I, I, I just love beating the ducks anytime we can because they're the ducks. They're, they're obnoxious. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you know, speaking of that, you know, yeah. what, uh, what, what do you feel about? Well, obviously, you're probably uh, upset about the ducks losing their program. Um, yes. You know what? You know what can no, we do? What, no, I mean, that that's a tough thing. I don't think they fought hard enough to keep it. They should have fought harder to keep it. One thing that we, we were able to keep our program is because Dale Thomas years ago set up an endowment where money came in so there'd be money for scholarships and then, you know, in case of hard times. But the Ducks to give up, I, I think they give up, to, I, I, I know it's tough, it, it's, it's hard, it's a hard thing with uh, title line. a lot of things. I'm not going to blame, blame, blame. I just think that we need to keep all the wrestling programs we can, especially in the collegiate level. High school's still strong. Still strong. And there's a lot of kids that want to go on and, and keep competing. But we're not fighting hard enough for some of these programs. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know they're not bringing in. We don't bring in money. We don't bring in money. Mm -hmm. But the reward, if you look at the total picture, the reward is so significant. We got to keep our eye on the prize. We right. really do. We right. really do. A lot of young men that uh, great, great, great young people that uh, involved with the program. We need to do that. Yeah. All right, Jess Lewis. Thank okay. you. Thank you for talking with us. Okay.